Hi, and welcome to Breast Cancer UK's webinar. My name is Patricia, and I'm a science officer at Breast Cancer UK. In today's webinar, I'm going to talk about how physical activity can reduce your breast cancer risk. I hope you will enjoy the webinar and leave feeling informed and motivated to get moving. Let me start by looking at what type of physical activity protects you against breast cancer and how long and how often you need to be active to reduce your breast cancer risk. I'll also talk a little bit about what happens in your body when you are physically active and why this leads to a reduced risk of breast cancer. I also want to mention that this webinar will focus on evidence from women. Although it's uncommon, men can also get breast cancer, but it's a rare disease and there's very little research among affected men. However, physical activity helps reduce the risk of male breast cancer too. There are many different factors which influence breast cancer risk. Some decrease your risk, others increase your risk. Some you have some control over, others you don't have any control over. One example is being female. If you are a woman, you're at an increased risk compared to men. You can't change this risk, but this doesn't have to get you down because there are also risk factors which you can control and can focus on. A factor which you can control and which decreases your risk is how much physical activity you do. I will explain to you what physical activity is and why I'm not talking about physical exercise on the next slide. Let's first look at how physical activity can help. The benefits are threefold. Physical activity not only helps prevent breast cancer, but it also helps prevent its recurrence and it increases survival following a breast cancer diagnosis. And this is true for women of all ages, including those with BRCA mutations and a family history of breast cancer. So this means even if you have a higher risk of getting breast cancer because of genetics, you can still reduce it through physical activity. You may be wondering why I'm talking about physical activity and not exercise. Although exercise is a form of physical activity, they are not the same thing. According to the World Health Organization, physical activity is any bodily movement produced by muscles that requires energy, for example, gardening, dancing, brisk walking, and housework. Whereas exercise is a type of physical activity that is structured and aims to improve or maintain physical fitness. You might be wondering if there are specific types of physical activity that are protective against breast cancer. The great news is they are all helpful, including jogging, walking, cycling, housework, yoga, gardening and weight training. Although less vigorous activities can be as beneficial as vigorous activities, you'll just need to do them for longer to get similar benefit. So, for example, if you are going for a walk, walk for longer. Or if you decide to do some cleaning, don't just clean one room, but the whole flat or the whole house. You might wonder how long and how often you should be physically active. Public Health England recommends you do at least 150 minutes a week of moderate physical activity on top of your normal activity. So for example, walking very briskly, swimming or gentle cycling. Or you can do 75 minutes a week of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity that increases your breathing and your heart rate. For example, hiking, jogging, fast cycling or playing football. Of course, you can also just do a bit of everything. And don't forget about your muscles. Try to do at least two sessions of weight training for building your muscle strength. You can do yoga or exercise with weights. Also, try to sit as little as possible. Of course, most of us have no choice but to sit for long periods while we work. Here are some ideas to help you work around this. For example, you could go for a walk during your lunch break, get off the bus a couple of stops earlier, get a fitness tracker, which reminds you to get up every hour and go for a short walk. 
You might be wondering how much you should do to get maximum benefit. Quite simply, the more you do, the better. The more physical activity you do, the more benefits and reduced breast cancer risk. For additional health benefits, the WHO recommends 300 minutes a week of moderate physical activity if possible. As an example, you could go for a 30 minutes brisk walk after work five times a week. On Saturday, you work in your garden for one and a half hours. And on Sunday, you go cycling for an hour. And that's 300 minutes. This doesn't sound too bad, does it? You might be interested in some numbers. Overall, physical activity reduces breast cancer risk by around 20%. There's been numerous studies carried out that consistently show those who are more active have a reduced risk of breast cancer. A recent large-scale study of breast cancer in UK women found those who did the most exercise had around a 23% reduced risk of breast cancer that occurred before they reached menopause, and a 17% reduced risk of breast cancer occurring after menopause. Women who have had a breast cancer diagnosis can also reduce their risk of breast cancer recurrence by around 20 to 30% through physical activity. A 2015 review found women doing the most physical activity compared to those doing the least had a 28% reduced risk of breast cancer recurrence. And thirdly, studies consistently show that following a breast cancer diagnosis, women doing the most physical activity compared to those doing the least reduce the risk of breast cancer mortality by around 40%. And those doing the most have a 42% lower risk of mortality from any cause. I now want to look at how physical activity can protect you from developing breast cancer. There are several reasons why it is thought physical activity reduces risk. Physical activity reduces levels of sex hormone circulating in your body, for example, estrogen, and reduces metabolic hormones, for example, insulin. It also lowers levels of growth factors which are substances made by the body that help regulate cell growth. High levels have been shown to increase breast cancer risk. Physical activity also reduces inflammation, which is the body's way of healing itself after an injury and protecting itself from infection. But chronic inflammation is linked with many diseases, including breast cancer. When you start doing physical activity, your muscles release substances which play an important role in fighting inflammation. Physical activity generally helps the immune system to function. One of its roles is to help get rid of cancer cells. So a stronger immune system will help reduce risk of breast cancer. Once you reach menopause, your body fat is the main producer of estrogen. By doing physical activity, you reduce body fat, which reduces estrogen levels. Loss of body fat also alters other hormone levels and reduces chronic inflammation. Here I have written down five tips which may help you become physically active. The first one is ease into a routine. Commit to 15 to 20 minutes of exercising two to three days a week. Once this has become a routine and feels easy to do, commit to a longer amount of time. For example, instead of 15 minutes, exercise for 30 minutes. Put it in your calendar diary. Block off your workout times just as you would any other appointment. Experiment. Give yourself time to figure out which is your exercise. You will want to find something that is beneficial but also enjoyable. Don't think, just go. It may sound too simple, but realize that you don't have to feel like exercising to do it. Rather than getting stuck in an argument with yourself about whether you should go for that run or walk or not, 
simply put on your workout clothes and go. Ditch the all or nothing attitude and count everything. You don't have to spend hours on a cross trainer or force yourself into worrying activities you hate to experience the benefits of exercising. A little bit is better than nothing. You could also become more active by getting off the bus or stop early, walking to work, doing more housework or gardening projects or going for a stroll. Other ideas could be swimming or sitting exercises or a wheelchair workout. So our message is move more. In summary, we say, be a healthy weight and have a healthy diet, get your heart pumping, feel stronger and improve your flexibility. You have just learned how physical activity reduces breast cancer risk, breast cancer recurrence and breast cancer mortality. But the list is not even complete. The great thing about physical activity is that it has so many other health benefits. Not only does it protect you against breast cancer, but it also helps reduce other cancers and illnesses, such as type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And it's good for the mind too. Numerous studies show it has positive psychological effects. For example, it can help boost your mood if you feel depressed. On top, there is even evidence from a UK study that physical activity reduces your risk of developing COVID-19 symptoms. To sum it up with a quote, Dr. Cavill from the University of Oxford once said, if exercise were a pill, it would be one of the most cost-effective drugs ever invented. Thank you for listening to Breast Cancer UK's webinar on physical activity and breast cancer. I hope you enjoyed it and took away new insights. We also want to thank Dr. James Turner from the University of Bath, who peer reviewed this webinar. For more information, please see our website, breastcancerUK.org.uk and links on our reference page.